Apple Inc. stands as a shining testament to the enduring power of innovation and visionary leadership. Over more than four decades, this iconic tech giant has not just witnessed history, but has actively shaped it. From its humble beginnings in a garage in Cupertino, California, to its current status as one of the most influential and valuable companies in the world, Apple's journey has been a remarkable one. The company's inception was the brainchild of three individuals with a passion for technology, Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. Together, they founded Apple Computer Company in April 1976. Their first project, the Apple One, was a do-it-yourself computer kit designed by the brilliant engineer Wozniak. Little did they know that this small step into the world of computing would be the spark that ignited a global technological revolution. Apple's initial breakthrough came in 1977 with the introduction of the Apple II, a personal computer that boasted color graphics and a built-in keyboard. It was a resounding success, paving the way for Apple to go public in 1980, a move that not only infused the company with much-needed capital, but also firmly established it as a key player in the developing personal computer market. However, it was the launch of the Macintosh in 1984 that truly set Apple apart. The Macintosh was a groundbreaking personal computer, featuring a graphical user interface and a mouse. Its unveiling during the famous 1984 Super Bowl commercial left an indelible mark on the world, and the Macintosh quickly became an iconic product. Despite this, internal conflicts erupted within the company, leading to Steve Jobs' departure in 1985 and leaving Apple in a period of uncertainty. Leadership changes ensued, with John Scully and later Michael Spindler at the helm. These were challenging times for Apple, marked by struggles with product releases and growing competition from Microsoft. In 1997, a pivotal moment arrived when Apple acquired Next Computer, the company that Steve Jobs had founded after leaving Apple. This move brought Jobs back into the Apple fold as an advisor. Soon, he ascended to the role of CEO, setting the stage for a remarkable resurgence. Apple's triumphant return came with the introduction of the iMac in 1998, a colorful and innovative desktop computer that captivated consumers with its design and functionality. Then, in 2001, Apple revolutionized the music industry with the launch of the iPod, featuring its sleek design and the user-friendly iTunes software, making music accessible like never before. The year 2007 witnessed another seismic shift in the tech world when Apple introduced the iPhone, a device that seamlessly combined music, communication, and internet access. This innovation redefined the smartphone industry and forever changed the way people connect and interact with technology. In 2010, the iPad was unveiled, creating an entirely new market for tablets and further cementing Apple's position in the world of consumer electronics. Tragically, in 2011, Steve Jobs passed away, leaving behind an indelible legacy of innovation and creativity. Under the leadership of CEO Tim Cook, Apple continued to thrive. The company expanded its product lineup with new iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, and the Apple Watch, further enriching the lives of consumers worldwide. Additionally, services like the App Store, Apple Music, and Apple TV Plus became significant sources of revenue, diversifying Apple's offerings. Nowadays, Apple Inc. remained a global technology juggernaut, known for its unwavering commitment to design, innovation, and user-centric products. Its influence extended far beyond the tech industry, shaping the way people interact with technology in their everyday lives.